Professor, I have heard so much about the innovative, groundbreaking work you're doing here with stem cells at Sheba. Fill us in on some of the innovations here in stem cells. Well, we take we take uh, uh, stem cells from all parts of our body, you know, from the bone marrow, from the, uh, from the kidney themselves, from different organs, and we regenerate uh, the organs with the stem cells. So we can really solve disease with uh, uh, cell therapeutics here. Now there's some uh, stuff in here. Yeah, that's for instance, uh, uh, these are uh, some of my people. Uh, they're going kidneys out of your bodies, okay? They take uh, kidney tissue out of, out of your kidneys. They can grow it out of your body in a Petri dish expand the cells, okay, locate the stem cells and give them back to you. So you regenerate your own kidneys. And this can be done with, uh, uh, you know, with, with a small biopsy of uh, kidney tissue. So no more dialysis, is that kind so of the, the goal? Idea. Maybe we can go over here and look a little yeah. bit. For instance, uh, uh, we grow these cells in three dimension uh, apparatus. Uh, you can see it over here, come, come, come. You know, so this is a, a kidney tissue grown ex vivo outside of your body, and these cells will go back into the patients. This is Judith. She's been uh, growing, uh, she's been growing uh, uh, the kidney stem cells ex vivo. Judith, so you can tell Eric what you're actually doing at the moment? So basically we get a very small piece of a biopsy, and we need to make that something that will produce enough cells to go back to the uh, sick person. So we first expand them in a monolayer, like they grow in one layer of cells. But these, these cells are not very good for uh, regenerating the kidney later on. So what we do is we take those cells and we tra transform them to a 3D version. You can see it moves because it's not, uh, it's not attached to the plastic. Yeah, okay, so the, in, and in this form, the cells get new characteristics and uh, then we saw in all kinds of tests we did to, that they have a potential to create actual uh, structures that are uh, characteristic for the kidney. And uh, yeah, it took us a while to establish that, but now uh, we, we run with it. And Professor, this is just the tip of the iceberg, right? Right, I wanna show you some more stuff around Okay, let's here. do yeah. it. Great let's to meet go. you all, keep up the great work. Let's go yeah. to the uh, other lab. I'm gonna show you some pictures on the uh, com of the computer because we need to characterize these uh, kidney stem cells yeah. that we take outside, take from your body and, and we need to really uh, uh, define what they're made of. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so how did you come here to Sheba, Professor? You have oh, a, that's a long story. Yeah, you have a long and distinguished yeah. history. Actually, I was a Medicaid in the, in the Army and uh, once I finished the, the Army, I was really uh, uh, fascinated about medicine. So I went to study uh, medicine um, and just when I finished I, I, I thought of Sheba as the perfect place for me because it really I had this uh, uh, science uh, uh, um, fantasy in, in, in my heart yeah. so I really I wanted to combine and this is sort of the only place in Israel where you can really combine um, medicine and uh, uh, science yeah. in this, in, you know in the same yeah. environment right yeah. the hands-on aspect where you're treating people but also the research exactly. behind the scenes exactly this is a place where you can change the world that's what right. you want to do yeah we have these no we have these fancy labs here that you can you you go outside you know you see the patient and you come to the lab to really yeah. solve his problem I want you to show you yeah. uh, I want to show you some stuff uh, some things here uh, Oh, so this is uh, Dorit. She's uh, uh, been working with me for like, I think, uh, eight years or so. Yeah, so uh, she's been on um, several projects in the lab um, and she's now trying to uh, get uh, kidney stem cells out of your urine. She's on this project and uh, she's, I think, doing a great job and she's advanced and um, working hard. Uh, these are, you know, the, these are cells she's been, this is, she's been characterizing. So here we are looking at uh, human kidney derived cells that uh, were introduced to a stem cell gene. Uh, uh, that gives them um, special qualities uh, that uh, actually reprogram them to uh, early stage in the development. So it takes them back. So once you take them back in embryonic life, they're much more uh, prone to, or we can do many, we can play around with them because we we bring them back, uh, uh, we make them younger. Well, thank you for the work you guys are doing. And Professor, the key point here, no one else in the world is doing this. Not at all. So basically, this, this small room where we're standing right now, Professor, this is world changing. World changing things are happening right here. 
Exactly, exactly. Because if we bring our methods to the, we want to we wanna export our methods to uh, the world in the sense that we would lead the, um, I would say, the concept of world without dialysis. So starting here at Sheba in Israel, then going on to bless the world and be a blessing to all the nations of the world. Professor, this is amazing, amazing stuff. It's exciting. We live in exciting times and you here at Sheba are on the forefront of it. Thank you so much for what you're doing. Folks, these are incredible innovations and don't go anywhere because up next, we join Sheba Medical Center's world-renowned cancer research team to learn how genome mapping could usher in a new revolution in medicine. Don't move.